Vibrations of a mass. A mass is vibrating at the end of a spring of force constant 225 newtons per meter. The figure shows a graph of its position x as a function of time. Okay, so this is a damped oscillation, obviously. Part A, at what times is the mass not moving? Part B, how much energy did this system originally contain? Part C, how much energy did this system lose between 1 second and 4 seconds? Where did this energy go? So, when is the mass not moving? So, that means we should have an instantaneous speed equal to zero so dx dt which is the speed should be equal to zero that means we have extremum points in the xt graph so where are these extremum points let's take a look we have t equals to zero t equals to one t equals to two t equals to 3 and t is equal to 4 seconds the extremum points so t equals 0 1 2 3 4 etc seconds at these points in time we have the instantaneous speed equal to 0 and therefore the mass is not moving so what is the original energy of the system at t, t is equal to zero at t is equal to zero we have an extremum point so v is equal to zero here dx dt is zero so therefore the kinetic energy is zero so we have only potential energy which is one over two kx squared the energy stored in the spring this is 1 over 2 times 225 newtons per meter times uh, x, where x is, as we can see here from the plot, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 centimeters. So it is 7 times 10 to minus 2 meters, parentheses squared. This gives us for the energy 0 0.55 joules so this is the energy it originally had at t is equal to 0 so we want to know how much energy was lost between t equals 1 second and t is equal to 3 seconds so delta e t is equal to 1 second and t is equal to 3 seconds are also extremum points t is equal to 1 and 4 seconds so 1 and 4 seconds are also extremum points so we have a loss of uh, potential energy kinetic energy is zero at these uh, points in time so the amplitude of the oscillation is 5 centimeters at t is equal to 1 and at t is equal to 4 it is 3 so we can write here 1 half kx squared, 1 half 225. At uh, t is equal to uh, 1 seconds, we have uh, 6 squared. So it's 6 centimeters at this point. And at t is equal to 4, it's 3 centimeters. So 6 squared minus 3 squared, uh, 10 to minus 4, it's meters squared. So this gives us 0 0.30 joules. So that's the energy lost during this time interval. Where did this energy go? It is converted. This energy is converted to internal energy. For example, via heating. So this could be for example, the effect of friction on this oscillation. So here we have talked about the damped oscillation, vibrations of a mass. Uh, 
by looking at x as a function of t, we can see the extremum points correspond to when we have instantaneous speed equals to zero, and these are at zero, one, two, three, four, five seconds, etc. At t is equal to zero, where we have zero kinetic energy, we only have potential energy due to the uh, x is equal to uh, seven centimeters here, one half k x squared. This is basically uh, the maximum stretch in the spring, uh, 1 half 225, 7, 10 to minus 2 meters. Parenthesis squared, that's 0 0.55 joules. Between t equals 1 and 4 seconds, we have t is equal to 1, 1 half k, 6 squared, and t is equal to 4, 1 half k, 3 squared, times 10 to minus 4, uh, we have the total change in energy 0 0.3 joules. This energy has been lost. So, it, for example, it's converted to internal energy via heating if this is a friction effect. So, if the damping is due to uh, friction, this is where the energy would go.